Hi there, my name's Simon Harris. I'm Research Director and Co-Founder at Providence Property Group. We get asked a lot by our clients, what is the future of property prices in Australia? Are we in a property bubble? Can we expect a collapse? Are we seeing a collapse right now? Now, the future of property is actually a lot more certain than most people understand. And that's because most investors don't study history. And we're very keen students of history. We believe fortunes are built on understanding market cycles. Now the property cycle occurs across 18 to 20 years and it very clearly historically repeats. It's actually very predictable. We've described this diagrammatically on our website so you can actually go take a look at it there. Now the entire cycle in simplistic terms it has two expansionary phases and two recessionary phases. Now this throws a lot of people off because they think a cycle is simply an expansion followed by a recession. It's actually a little more complicated than that. Now the first phase we call the first upswing and return to growth. It's typically seven years in length and we've actually all lived through this from 2011 to 2018. Then we move into the first recessionary phase which we predicted for 2019 and 2020. We call this the mid-cycle slowdown. Now the mid-cycle slowdown typically lasts about 12 to 18 months. It's what we experienced back in 2000 to 2001 as well. And you'll notice that there was an 18 to 19 year time difference since we last saw this. Now importantly, that recession is a slowdown. It's not a financial crisis, it's not a depression. And this is in fact a buying opportunity. It's actually not so great to be buying when the market is as hot as a pistol. Now the second expansion we call a boom which is also about seven years, and this follows the mid-cycle slowdown that we're in right now. We forecast this to run from later in 2020 through to about 2027. Now there's a lot of money to be made during this period in property. Property price growth is typically stronger in the second expansion than in the first. Beyond this, in 2027, our modelling suggests a stronger recession than what we've just had. We expect this to last around four years and we call this the peak crash recovery phase. But as of right now, there are some very good opportunities to buy in preparation for the boom moving forward. So take action, invest well, and don't miss out on this great buying opportunity.